Former Chief Minister and senior TMC leader Mukul Sangma has once again batted for a united opposition to ensure that the people's interests are taken care of. Sangma said that despite being from different parties, the opposition will have to unite in the interests of the state. Do you see a divided opposition? I don't think so. I don't think so. What do you mean by identity? Do you mean to say that the identity, trying to project the identity of every political party is expected for every political party? How will it dialogue? People have given mandate to different political parties. Now, how we synchronize and synergize our efforts collectively towards achieving the goal of serving the people for the larger interest of the people and protecting the state of the interest. That is what we are saying. So when you when you when you play football, you may be different player. You may be different player, but you are in the same team. So how you dribble and ultimately ensure that the team wins? That's how we will work. Significantly, without naming any party, Sangma hinted at post treating leading to the formation of the MDA 2.0 government. If you can, you, can, you can be analytical of what I'm saying, is that if one political party has been together with other political parties, indicating their willingness and resolve to be together and give an alternative government, suddenly they disappear and they find themselves in another camp, then what does it look like? What is, what is the indication of this sudden development? Isn't it horse trading? It is. Yes. It's a reflective of what was happening under current. The senior TMC leader also lashed out at the BJP for extending support to the NPP despite its so-called zero-tolerance policy towards corruption. Now, if they say that, okay, uh, there is a need uh, to have a regime change because of reasons which they indicate. The reason being the issue of corruption. Issue of corruption. Now, issue of corruption, if they have been so rhetoric on issues of corruption, and suddenly they uh, realizes that, okay, they didn't have a number, so they compromise and start as well. It is not uh, something which is expected by the people, nor even by political parties like us. Because with every political party lies, there is a huge responsibility. Responsibility towards the larger good of the people and interests of the state. Now, uh, doesn't BJP subscribe to the idea of walking the talk? Okay, and at the same time, doesn't they realize the huge amount of responsibility that they have being the political party who is governing this great nation? And also, BJP must be reminded of the fact that the, none other than the Honorable Prime Minister himself have promised to the people of this great nation, to all the citizens of this great nation, that come what may, there will be zero tolerance against corruption. Mughal Sangma also indicated that Manipar played a major role in deciding the outcome of the polls. You should be governed by people who deserve to be in the helm of affairs of governments. You know, that is what democracy is all about. Therefore, uh, I would appreciate the people of particularly uh, Khasi's region that they have spoken loud and clear. They have said through their mandate that money is not going to influence our decision. But elsewhere it is different. Elsewhere it is different. Therefore, whether the people are voting for money or a leader, if you put money decide and the leader decide, which one will they choose? That is what the whole discussion and debate has to be all about.